So I've got a question for everybody on the internet. What the fuck is the obsession with celebrity babies? I don't fucking get it. But all day today, all there has been is William and Kate's motherfucking baby being born because she's in goddamn labor. And this was fucking CNN. It, how is this news? Babies get born all the same damn time. Sometimes they get killed. Shit happens. World turns. But apparently, apparently this is huge news and needs to be recorded by everybody. And it's not even she gave birth. It's everything leading up to. And for that matter, it seems like we have much more this whole obsession as a society with people that didn't even earn celebritism and just sort of got it. And, and before you say anything, William and Kate are celebrities. They're not fucking royalty. At least they're not famous on the level of royalty. You want to know why? Because the fucking Queen of England is royalty and she's not on the news every other fucking day. She's not running her mouth every other fucking day, but then again, every time William and Kate fucking take a shit, it gets on the goddamn news. I mean, nobody fucking has a, wants to put a reality TV show, Tim Roth, or fucking Christian Slater. Two people who fucking had to work their way up and get a series of good breaks before they got fucking famous. But they want a television show and have a television show and keep airing a television show about fucking the Kim Kardashian and her damn entourage and her mother fucking brothers and sisters. Only one person in that family earned their celebritism. Everybody else was born into it. And we sell this as some kind of fucking, oh, maybe you can get lucky and you can, no, you can't. William and Kate's marriage was not a fairy tale fucking wedding. They met at a country club that most fucking girls will never be able to fucking afford when the dream dies and they're sucking cocks in back alleys. Fucking fairy tale bullshit shouldn't consist of how much money you have. Because then it's just an impossible dream that nobody can obtain. And fucking the obsession with their babies in general just mind boggles me. Because I don't give a shit about babies. Maybe I'm a fucking dipshit for that. Maybe I'm an asshole. I don't find them cute. I find them things that don't know anything about anything, and some strange reason people find this adorable. They don't know what you're saying to them. They don't know what it is you're doing to them. They don't have that mental process yet. But this could be my piece of the brain that's missing, this obsession with fucking babies. The same thing with Beyonce a few fucking months ago. Nobody knew if she had a a baby in her stomach. We thought, according to the news, that she might have had a baby bump, which is, I guess, the clever way, term of saying the slight indents indicating that a baby is inside of her. But we had no proof. <laughs> they had no proof. And they just reported it. Because apparently it doesn't even matter if there's a baby. It's just magically, immediately, news. I don't even have words. I don't have words. You know, uh, I mentioned in a video a few weeks ago, fucking senator from Maryland was bitching about how Trayvon Martin was all over the damn news. Now, Will and Kate are all over the damn news. And somebody needs to take Will and Kate off the damn news because they have no relevance to anything, anywhere, at any time, ever.
In fact, they don't even have relevance to politics. They become the king and the queen. You know what politics they're going to affect? Nothing. Because the king and the queen of England don't do shit anymore. They have no purpose. They have a prime minister who takes care of all of that. They're just there to be symbolically in charge. But they don't. But you wouldn't know that if you watched the news at any one point of any fucking day.